Hello, Tommy, Tommy. We got a situation over at Printworks. You better go and check it out. I don't know, some kind of mess or other. Things are messed up. I gotta go. I had Sonny on the phone, okay? Are you with me? I don't know about you, but there's something about a man threatening to murder my family which really scares the crap out of me. What are you gonna do? Ken, take it easy. I am calm. Calm as a man can be when he's fearing for his life. Stay off the idiot fuel and look after yourself. No one's gonna take us out. I'll see you later. I am calm. Don't I sound calm? Must be impending death that is doing this to my voice. Okay, what's the emergency? Oh, who? Oh, Tommy. Some mob thugs said they'd come to take their cut. Said it was a Mr. Farello's money. Oh, I feel like crap. Farelli? Sonny Farelli? Yeah, that's the guy. I think they were very Holy insistent. Pop. I'm not angry with you. Get him to the hospital. Tommy, rip that guy a new asshole for me. I'm gonna rip him too. But I think it is, Pastor. We look around, nudie clubs, discos, drinking. Do people want to be moral? Can you legislate morality? Can we tell people how to live their lives? Absolutely. Yes, of course I can. Just look at prohibition or, or the cultural revolution in China. We can learn a lot from history. Chairman Mao or Stalin, they purged their lands of degenerates and intellectuals, the scum of the earth in my book. And look at the great societies they built. People want to be told how to act. And most people are idiots, and that's exactly who my teachings appeal to. This lawless, permissive society has no boundaries. train. You have to give a treat when Precious makes a poopy. My kids are big boned and they eat prunes every day. But that's what's wrong with this country. All of this emphasis on being thin and healthy. When my children are hungry, I hand them a spear and send them out to the park to catch their own food. They're learning how to be self-sufficient. Yesterday, my youngest, Jono, killed the postman, but at least he was trying. So I gave him a cuddle. I told him to hit daddy next time he comes home late smelling of cheap perfume. Okay. It's low and down with all it. My city is mine now, not his. We'll be right back. You're listening to VCPR. Finally, a radio station for teachers and librarians. You've been enjoying pressing issues, but as is normal, you can't listen to an hour's worth of programming on this station without us begging for money. It's the Bi Daily Begathon here on VCPR, where we hold your favorite shows hostage until you pony up some cash. You know what's so great about VCPR? It's. I was up in That's right, Michelle. With the way things are going under Reagan, at any moment the unwashed Huns from the Midwest could descend upon Vice City and enslave the poets and postal workers and force us to watch network programming. That is a frightening thought. But like many things in life, you can throw money at something and feel better about yourself. VCPR is your public radio station, but you have to open your wallets. That's right. If you pledge at the $1,000 level, you'll get tickets for In the Future There Will Be Robots at the Vice City Art Center. Liberals will be set on fire in the streets. 
Give now. Let's return to pressing issues. Over to you, Maurice, in the studio. Useless, talentless asshole. You're correct. He is an asshole. I love those guys. Really professional and living proof that all... Tommy, it's Lance. We got big problems. Come down here right away. Awards in the Vice City area, including Best Voice. On this show, we take complex issues and boil them down to simple ones so you can understand. On this segment of the show, we are discussing morality. Since the beginning of time, man has asked questions. Why are we here? What time is it? And is there a place around here a guy can get a drink? Early man, as seen in the cave of Blascoz in France, questioned the morality of making the mammoth extinct. I think we all know what happened there. Is it society's job to tell each other how to live? Recently, my city considered passing a public curfew that says nobody can be on the streets after 8.30 p.m. Of course, the bill didn't get passed, but it made people think. If you don't vote, you get morons in charge. Is that moron? Forget about it, Mario. What's going on? Tommy! Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. I love them as pets in bowls, or as food on a plate, but as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I- Shut up, Ken. Sit down. Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, you get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! Why? No big hugs for your old buddy. I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty <laughs> on family etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Sonny. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I'd just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you.
one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Crossing piece of shit! Your history, Tommy! History! You took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay! You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy! Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys, he never understood a thing. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy! What what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit! Tommy, what on earth happened? Had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful?
Chris, Paolo. How are you? Right, mate. Anyway, thought I had to drop you a line. Oh, my good lord, my son. You will not believe the quality of the brass I just encountered. Streetwalker or something just down in Little Havana, mate. Said her name was Mercedes or something. Oh, my God, mate. You've got to check this bird out. Could strip the lead out of a pencil. Said I was the best you ever had and all. Keep your potato skin for I'll be seeing ya. Tommy, Tomas, it's Cortez, que pasa? Things are interesting. How are you, my friend? I wanted to ask you about Mercedes. Okay, what about her? Oh, Tommy, Tommy, I, I, I hear these stories, all these stories, I don't know what to think. Maybe she thinks she can do what she likes, but Tommy, tell me, is it true? Is what true? These stories I hear. She, she, she really going to be a lawyer. Tommy, the shame, the shame, you know, we Cortez are a proud family. We would never allow a daughter of ours to become a lawyer. Please, tell me it isn't so. I, I don't think I could take it. Oh, Colonel, I can assure you, Mercedes is never going to become a lawyer. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you, Tommy. Tommy, thank you. The shame would be unbearable. She's a lady, not a parasite, you know? Anyway, Tommy, you must excuse me, all right? The new Minister of Interior has arrived. Many years ago, I killed his father in a failed coup, so I must be polite. Hey, good day, amigo. Who brought us here? Tommy Facetti. How's it going, Mr. Big Shot? I hear all these things about you. Some kind of player in town now, eh? Paul, you're drunk. No, you stupid pal. I ain't drunk. I had mean, a couple, and some treats. I've been a bit of a couple of days, you know? Anyway, don't give me that. I ain't a mug. Who set you up in this town? Oh, me. That's who. Really? Don't give me that, don't. I introduced you to people, I showed you the ropes. Did a lot of stuff for you, and this is how you repay me. You ignore me. You won't give me a way in, or after all I'll do for you. What do you think I am, a devil or something? Paul, take it easy. I've been busy, don't be an idiot. I ain't no idiot, Mush. That's what I said in Bolstall. You are skip the trouble, son, because you're going to get it. <laughs> Tell me, mate, please. Use me big hope, please. Don't laugh at me. Uh, Paul, get some sleep, seriously. <laughs>